what up fam um it is january and i'm about to do another video today's video is going to be a diy type video um this is my first video of the new year um it's a pretty nice day today surprisingly it's sunday the 14th here in georgia january and uh i'm gonna finally get to building my wash station that i've been wanting to do all right so uh stay tuned and check it out ah, bam all right guys so in my yard i have uh, a couple of places i could do this and what i ultimately decided on was right here um as you can see it's completely covered in leaves right now but when it's all said and done it's it's kind of a mess over here i don't really ever do anything in this area uh during the summer it just kind of sits here i cut the grass on it and and that's about it um so what i plan on doing is i'm going to turn it into a bike wash station and uh and we're going to make it look good but first i gotta do some work getting a bunch of stuff cleared out and uh making it look good so uh follow along All right, guys, so I don't know about y'all, but uh, this happens to me every time I get started and next thing I know, it turns into 50 other things. So my yard is kooky, it's wonky. I live right on the edge of this little ditch area. Uh, I had a, a crate myrtle that sat right there that these vines and everything just were overgrowing and and i usually don't care that they're overgrowing uh because it kind of blocks my view of other people's homes during the summer and you know whatever but it got to the point where it was starting to get all over my fence and this crepe myrtle it virtually killed the crepe myrtle which i wasn't too concerned i'd rather i was going to cut it down because i wanted uh, more grass to grow in my backyard so this was always a plan but then I was like, oh, okay, I need to cut all this back. I need to do that at some point. And I was like, oh, I'm going to put this, this uh, uh, bike washing station right here. And then next thing I know, I'm doing all this. So I've spent probably the last hour and a half. Uh, if you notice in the, in the earlier video that I showed all this, you'll see there was way more going on here. There's still so much work to be done. Uh, I need to get some, like, leather legit gloves because there's a... Uh, there's a lot of vining uh, uh, stickers and everything up in there, thorn bushes. So I got a lot more work to do in there. But right now I've got it cleared out enough to where I can start working on this area. And so that's what we're gonna do now. So, this is as far as I've gotten right now. So, I just, I'm not trying to spend tons of money on this. Uh, so, pretty much everything that I've been doing, I virtually have had around the house. The only thing I went out and bought was the, um, what is it, 4x4, four four, I think. Uh, and that was 10 bucks. So, I, I already have the, the concrete from 
doing a new mailbox and everything like that these little glass pavers we'll see how they work out but i just had them laying around so i uh put them out i plan on putting the hole right there for the uh pole and then i'm just going to put some uh river rocks because i have a bag of that here just down inside this um so yeah uh the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start um digging the hole right there for uh for the for the post so let's get to it all right so now you need a post hole digger we're going to put that to about right there i'm kind of centering it up maybe come a little more forward i'm not i'm not too sure on this front where i'm gonna how this will work out because the back tire is going to roll forward onto the pole so i guess i'm just going to kind of have to um you know see what happens there and kind of fix it again diy i don't build things everything i do is just is just uh going from from my head uh and i by no means want to make it perfect now the pole i bought is uh i think it's about eight feet long so i was thinking about digging this hole down to the two feet but we'll see and then uh i knew that was gonna happen so I might as well just, if i have to replace the black stuff in a minute i will Digging this hole, man. All right, guys. So we're about two feet deep now. Uh, I'm a little dirty over here, but it'll get all cleaned up when it's all said and done. Uh, yeah, so now we're going to get the pole and try and see if we can't get it set in nice and even and then uh, start putting the concrete in. So we got this in. Uh, it's about six feet tall right now. I think that's uh, a little bit taller than we need it. Uh, so it should be perfect for uh, any bike that we get on it so the next thing to do is to uh, get the concrete down in the hole and get it wet and let it sit all right all right so a couple things you got to do when you're setting a pole is you got to make sure it's nice and even on each side so right there which is always a, a fun task to be done. See, that's, that's all the way forward. So what we'll do is we'll start getting the concrete down in there. Good. All right. All right, so now the pole is in. We've soaked down the concrete in there. And we're just going to let it sit and do its thing, guys. We'll see you back in a minute. All right, guys. So we got the concrete in. Uh, and then I I put some um, gap filler, that foam type stuff, down in there as well. Because, like I said, I didn't have a, enough concrete for it to completely set. And it was a quick set concrete. So it, it, it did its job very, very easily. And then, uh, I, like I said, I had some of these river rocks. So I put those down in there. It's looking pretty good so far. Once I kind of can get it all washed off, probably the next set of rain will do that for me. Uh, yeah, and then just got the pole. I need to put a uh, 
rod right here. Uh, I gotta start getting the bikes out here to see where the best spot to put one of those is. And, uh, and then, yeah. So, so far, I literally, obviously I've spent money on this because I've had this stuff around the house. I spent it at some point, right? But as far as just having from different projects, uh, I've literally spent $10 for the pole. Well, 16 because I bought new uh, hooks. But uh, I have one for my wife's bike and, and it came in a pack of two. So I was going to need one anyways to set her bike up uh, inside the house. And then same with my bike. Um, but so now I think I'm going to put some paint on it just to make it look a little good. I have some uh, like a weatherproofing type paint. Uh, and then after that, we will see about uh, getting the bike on it. All right. All right, guys, uh, day two. So after doing everything yesterday, getting all the stuff kind of cut out, uh, uh, I was then able to work on this. This is as far as I got. Have it set in. The foam came out quite nicely. The thing is super sturdy. I put a little uh, ceiling paint on it. So the wind and the rain, or the rain I should say, will keep it from rotting for a good while. Uh, but now we are just going to bring the bike out, figure out where I need to put the, um, the hook, and drill a hole and that will be done. All right. like maybe about a foot down would be the best spot. So I bought these uh, jumbo hooks from um, Academy. It was like seven bucks for two of them. Uh, so I'm just gonna use these or one of these to put up there. But I think I'm gonna drill a hole to recess uh, the um, the thing into the wood more to give this uh, uh, be in a little more on it before I uh, install it, if that makes sense. I'll show you when, I'm, when it's all said and done. Leave a comment if you have any, uh, like, oh, well, you should do this, or this would be a smart way to go about doing that. I always love doing things like that. And I will give it a try. All right, so. And there you have it. <laughs> the bike wash station is complete. You see it hooks in right there. I could probably actually bring it a little bit more forward but nothing too crazy uh, if you have any ideas out there guys on the interwebs of something that i could make this to uh 
to upgrade it a little bit better, let me know. Uh, the wheel still sits on the on the driveway, which what I was hoping for. Uh, like I said, guys, I did like no measurements or anything. I just kind of eyed and went with what was in my mind's eye on doing this. So, yeah, looks pretty good. But as you can see, my bike is filthy. So we gonna wash it real fast. <laughs> figure that out. Right, guys well there you have it that is the diy bike wash station uh i know there's definitely ways that i can already upgrade it i'm already thinking about it in my mind um uh if you have any ideas for me uh yeah put them put them down in the in the comment section seriously i would love to uh i'll probably give it uh, a couple of months before I actually make moves on on making it better mainly mainly with the hook that holds the bike wheel because uh, I'm already not a fan of it moving as I'm washing it. it it starts to lean over it's it's not compromised in the way that it's going to fall off the off the bike wash or anything like that but I'm just a stickler at that point I want it to stay I know there's there's ways out there that I can make that happen um, so yeah, but overall, I'm I'm really happy with the outcome of uh, of what it turned out to look like, and uh, now I'll be able to just throw my bike up on it real fast, especially in the in the summer months when it's boiling hot, and the last thing I want to do is get out all my stuff after a long day's ride and wash my bike. So uh, now that I have this, I can just get home, guys, and hook it up there real quick, pull the water hose out, and just rinse off all the all the dust, dirt, and debris and uh and put my bike away and so uh i'm pretty stoked on it i also have a spot in my garage that i've built up for my bike so once i'm done washing it it's not going to hang where it used to and potentially drip down on stuff it will it's right against the floor pretty much this kind of same setup but inside my house um and the water can just drip and fall on the concrete and dry there yeah guys again thanks so much for watching please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button uh i would love to get more subscribers i also started doing the, um, the sticker thing or whatever any anything to help uh build this channel uh, i'm trying to take it a little more serious these days i'm going to be doing more reviews uh getting that set up in the future uh, working on the little studio area that i plan on 
doing my reviews in and also go check out I'll, I'll put a link down in it um if you guys want to check out uh my other channel it's a more of a family friendly channel it's uh, it's called life's too short adventures and um right now well, there's a lot of halloween stuff on it because my son loves halloween but again thanks so much for watching and make sure to like and subscribe all that hoopla and blah 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 share it if someone's like man i need to buy i need to build a bike wash man i need to build a bike wash um this may be a good idea for them but yeah so um thanks so much for watching again i'm gonna say that about a million times and we will catch you on the flippy floppy remember guys stay positive and ride your bike